<laughs> hey kids in this in in this episode of it's not a crime when the government does it um i want to be i want to be talking about booby traps so <clears throat> this guy right here in this um little thing actually posted a really good um kind of rundown as to why uh, booby traps are illegal in the united states so it's not illegal when the government does it and they set out landmines in the North Korean demilitarized zone. It's okay when the government does it, but if you booby trap your house because I oh, know the, the law enforcement might come in and they might need to, they might need to come into your house. They might need to red flag you. They might need to come in and take your guns. Oh my god. See, see, it's it, it's okay when the government no knock raids your house, right, and bursts in and shoots your girlfriend, right, without identifying themselves. But the moment, the moment you booby trap your house, it's a crime, right? So if the government no knock raids your house and they get hurt by, and you know, the police get hurt by some booby trap that you set up. You can you can be convicted of murder or assault with a deadly weapon because they got hurt by your by your um <clears throat> by your booby trap right but but it's okay when the government can red flag you and no knock raid your house and, and kick in the doors yeah it, 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 it it's all it's all fine when that happens so <clears throat> to me it's it's ridiculous anyway um, the controlling case law seems to be people versus Cabellos, blah, blah, blah. Cabellos resided above a garage that had been broken into previously. He noticed that the lock had been tampered with and set up a trap gun, basically a 22 ri uh, rifle wired to the door. Two youths uh, subsequently broke into the dwelling. They weren't youths. They were burglars, right? And uh, see how they said youths, not criminals, not burglars? Oh, you, you, oh no, you got to... <laughs> well, you can't set up the booby traps. Think of the burglars. They'll get hurt. Think of the criminals. I, re I remember this, there was a case in England, in, in Britain, in, jo in jolly old Britain. Um, man, uh, British man told to take down barbed wire. <laughs> yeah, here it is. So, this guy, the, he, he was ordered by the court to take down um, barbed wire. Fucking stupid. Um, he, was, he was ordered to take down barbed wire because it might hurt thieves, right? This is literally a law. This is literally a law that um, Bill, Bill Malcolm, right? British man, yada, yada, yada. But here we go, Fox News. Another piece of propaganda. No, 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 no. Yes, thank you, Tucker. No. Um, anyway, so, yeah. So, he installed wire, yada, yada, yada. Stealing more, yada, yada, yada. Uh, health and safety. They remove it by force if he did not do it himself. And it's like, so, so, so it's okay when the government sets up barbed wire in a war to protect their fucking borders but suddenly you as an individual do it and suddenly it's a fucking crime so in this in this episode of it's okay when the government does it right here we go it's uh, booby traps you know it's it's wrong it's wrong when the individual does it but suddenly it's okay when the fucking government does it <clears throat> so anyway um I'll, I'll put i'll put the link if you want to take a look at this um, he had been convicted of jury of assault with deadly weapon and appealed to the California Supreme Court, yada, yada, yada. Um, so apparently there was some old common law, and this goes back to an English ca case, uh, Elliot versus Wilkes, Three Barn, in 1820. Uh, this case covered spring guns set in a forest and caused an injury caused to someone who, kn who knew they were there. It was held that the person could not bring action for injuries sustained. There was considerable uh, an out outcry. In, I, I don't know the context of that one. 
Anyway, so basically the English were pussies about fucking booby traps and now Americans have to be too. And really at the end of the day, oh no, you can't set up the booby traps in your house. Think of the nice policemen who are coming to take your guns. Like that, that's really what it's about. This isn't about, this isn't just about protecting criminals, even though this is part of what it does. It's about protecting the fucking Gestapo that kicks in your fucking door. You know, I mean, that's really, that's really what it's about. It's about, it's, it's about protecting policemen who are red flagging you and, and kicking down your door and coming, coming to, coming to, coming for those asset fortiture laws. So anyway, um, <clears throat> that's my, that's my little rant for today.